Hey guys, so what I've got here is Nuke Proof Advanced Rim Defense. So I bought these basically because I was rolling my tyres at sort of low to medium pressures. Um, I'm a big boy, I'm about 100 kilos um, and I ride sort of trails, a little bit of downhill, some rooty tooty stuff as well as... Um, you know traditional sort of uh sort of trails so i was getting a bit disappointed actually because i was burping tires all over the place um and it was spoiling my ride to be honest I don't always carry um an inflator with me or a pump so you know it was pretty much the end of my ride once i'd sort of burped uh, a good 10 psi out of my tire so i looked on youtube i did a bit of research one of the reasons that I'm filming this is because, uh, to be quite honest, I couldn't find a lot about these sort of products on, on YouTube. Not many reviews, not many installation guides. So I thought I'd put one together, to be honest, guys. So um, thumbs up if you like it um, and uh, give me a subscribe or a follow. So I have actually cheated a little bit. I've already taken one out of here and I've done the front tire. I've installed it already already um so I, I did that just to make the sort of review a little bit better but i'll do the unboxing now um quite a big box actually these are 27.5s so you get an instruction um and you get two of these basically so the ard insert itself and you get two of these which are obviously the tubeless um valves now these are slightly different because they've got a slit cut in them because when that sat in your wheel like that it enables you to get air in uh, traditional tubeless valves are flat with a hole through they don't have that notch in there so that's the importance of those basically uh right so let's open these to be honest, I like to save these zip ties, so um, I'll just unpick that. Reuse, recycle where you can, you know. Um, right, let's get those out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stretch this out. Uh, I don't know whether you guys can see that, but yeah, we've basically got... I'll see if we can zoom out. I'm using a GoPro to film this, actually, and a chesty. So basically there's the insert fits around your tire like that i thought these were actually going to be cut and it was going to be a length rather than a hoop but yeah they come joined already the right size so i'm just going to make that into settle that down into a um the best shape i can right I'll just hook that over the stand, right. So, in preparation, what we need to do is we need a few tools to do this job, um, a couple of which I've already got. Uh, definitely essential are going to be tyre levers. Um, those are really important, I think. Um, the next thing that's important is your stands or whatever tile tire sealant that you need um i've also put a couple of metal uh tire levers in there as well because um i had a real struggle to get the tire on actually um and whilst you have to be really careful on your rim with these mine are uh d max rims um they're aluminium. Uh, I wouldn't suggest you do these with carbon by any chalk of the queue. You know, you've got to be really, really careful when using um, metal uh, with aluminium. Well, steel or, or carbon or whatever. You just need to be really careful. But I needed something a little bit stiffer than these. These are free, actually. Some sort of 3D printed thing. But they're pretty good. They're good for purpose normally. But, um, yeah, you're really going to need something a bit more sturdier than those um also um the instructions actually say that you should um we'll go through it in detail but basically put your tubeless sealant in before you actually seal the tire 
no i don't do that i think it's too messy uh this stuff sticky it's horrible it gets everywhere i've got this which is a um which is an injector basically so you put your stands in there you suck it up um you screw that onto your valve without the uh core in there so you'll also need one of these I recommend you getting one of these core uh, extractors because, well, you just saw how easy it was to get that core out of there. You just twist it, pops off like that. That then enables you to get lots of air in when you're firstly inflating the tyre and also you can pump uh, some sealant in. Um, also, when you're topping up your sealant throughout your season, throughout your year, uh, it's just, that's worth its waste in gold, to be quite honest um right we'll put put these things to one side so you don't quite need them yet right so the instructions um get tubeless wheel and apply tubeless rim tape if required my uh rims don't need tubeless rim tape so i'm ignoring that your setup might be slightly different so check that out um fit tubeless valve supplied in box Fit one side of tyre, insert ARD for foam into tyre just like fitting a tube. Add a normal quality of sealant to the tyre. Fit the second side, uh, side of the tyre opposite the valve ensuring the bead goes on the ARD for and foam and into the rim well. Right, okay. Well, we'll go through this all in um, all in, uh, in in detail. Then it just says remove valve core, inflate tyre to seat bead, uh, replace valve core and inflate tyre to the normal riding pressure so great stuff right here is my tire um yep basically um i'm running like i said these d-max rims um with maxis uh, minions this is the dhr because it's the rear um pr pretty wide tires actually uh i struggle sometimes with these uh riding uphill but they're very knobbly and they do the job what i'm just doing is i'm just just got a vice here i'm just putting it in there because i can i can sort of let go and just uh just leave that there but what i'm gonna do now is break the break the seal of the tire right all the way around i think that's done and then pop the tire off so I'm actually not going to struggle with that and break my fingers. I'm just going to pop that off using a lever. Right then, so I've actually uh, got the wheel off now and the tyre is free. And then, of course, you've got your all your lovely, gloopy, smelly stands in um, and some interesting other stuff that uh debris we'll call that uh basically but yep so uh yeah what i'm gonna do with that is just soak it up with a bit of tissue and get rid of that um you could recycle it i suppose it's gonna do no harm um but what i want to do is i want to clean the wheel off quite well um, because you always get all of this sort of uh, where the tyre has been sealed. I mean, you can see that, but you get a, uh, a thick crust of, of um, sticky rubber stands. So um, what I'm going to do is, I suppose this is the other essential tool that you're going to need. It's a dirty rag, and I'm just going to rub around there clean all the stands out and off a uh, bit of friction a bit of hard work gets that off uh, if you're doing this first time brand new setup of course you aren't going to be having this problem uh, you won't need to do this if they're new tires or if you're moving from tubeless straight to these inserts um, like you said, one of, one of the reasons I want to try these is because uh, I went tubeless a long, long time ago, actually. Um, the problem is, is I've all, one of the reasons that I went tubeless was I was always getting um, pinch flats. So I quickly, when I started getting a bit more serious, 
fried in a bit quicker very quickly converted my uh, i did a ghetto convert actually because my rims weren't tubeless nor my tires uh but i managed to um to get them to seat on uh on normal rims and normal uh, tires uh so i was quite lucky in that respect um and i never looked back really however i've always struggled with tie burps and uh i think it's a couple of things on the pressures that i run i do like that traction um i do love uh feeling that in the corners however it's the weight that goes through unfortunately my front tire and sometimes back tire uh, from my overall body weight and the forces that I generate uh, that causes my tire to fold on the rim or pinch on the rim and just burp out that vital bit of uh, vital bit of pressure. So you're right. What I'm doing here is I'm just getting this uh, this old with this old rag. Um, into the um into the gap there the the just into the rim gap uh you can see there you got some dirt and some other bits where <laughs> probably my tire has burped and then you get all that leaf loam and all the rest of it that gets caught in between and then you just pump your tire up forget about it um and the tube uh, the, the stands does its job and seals and then of course you never 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 clean it out do you so right next thing is just to uh undo your locking nut off the off the rim there so there you go little o-ring as well there's nothing the matter with these uh tubeless valves obviously but you can see there this one's actually round this one's actually a nuke proof one as well uh but this one's round the nuke proof ones that i'm going to put on are square and they've got that little notch to let the air through so right and i'll let you into a little secret um just been recording for some time actually and realized that the battery had gone on my GoPro. So again, Dave, Dave, dirty hands there, thumbs up. If you like that. Right, so okay then. Valve for the second time. But of course you don't know that. <laughs> uh valve in. What I tend to do with these is push down really hard, pull um as well on the uh on the actual valve. Put the little eye ring up which is there to protect as well as to seal um so that's something that's quite necessary i think push down with your thumb and screw up when you get to a bit closer because what you'll be able to do is oh well you can see that what you'll be able to do is make a bit of daylight between that locking ring and the rim really get that seated nicely because the tighter that seal between the um, between the rim and the valve the less air is going to escape of course so right that's uh, that's the valve fitted anyway right another important thing is your drive your wheel goes that way um, if you've got directional tyre uh, you need to pay attention to the tyre pattern. Um, so just search the side of your tyre wall there and you've got a rotation, uh, rotational arrow, particularly on the Maxxis ones. I'm guessing if you have got other brands that are rotational, they will tell. So your drive side is, the wheel goes that way. Make sure your arrow points uh that way yeah uh, right so just gonna pop that in get the uh 